Hey, what is up, everyone? It is Kyle of Variety and Errors, and you are here with me on the YouTubes, watching another video of us searching through bills and seeing if we find anything above face value or anything collectible or just fun to look at and hold on to. Uh, we have made such a great digital friendship, you and I, and I appreciate all the contributions that everyone has given to me uh, on the website with articles, on the Facebook page with posts and helpful information for others, and just kind of pushing along this whole hobby of collecting money and searching through coins and just chatting. So I love that everyone's so enthralled and, and a part of everything, and I just hope that everybody keeps it up and is having fun. But without further ado, let's go through some 20 doll hair bills with good old Jackson on the front of them. So what are we looking for? A lot of my videos have talked about just different aspects of things to collect on bills. I'm going to do a newer version of one that I did when I first started doing YouTube videos that talks about kind of the main things to look for, so it'll be 15 or 20 different things uh, to look for when it comes to serial numbers and various things with bills. So then you can keep an eye out and uh, it's kind of updated for to kind of include new security features and things on the newer printed banknotes in the United States. So on the 20s, as you guys know, if you watch my videos, uh, there's a lot of things you can keep in mind. There's misprints, there's over inks, there's heavy pressings, there's uh, fancy serial numbers, there's things that are askew and misprinted on there, on the actual banknote itself, uh, and this applies to the obverse or reverse of the bill. So uh, let's look through them. If we, the first thing I like to look at is the serial numbers to see if they match up, albeit that's a very rare error. If, you, if you're a fan or a follower of our Facebook page, you've seen that there's a couple people that are on there that are uh, parts of our group that have found mismatched serial numbers. So it's very, very seldom that you're going to come across that, but they are very collectible and, and have a high premium on whatever the face value of the bill is. Uh, so I know of one that was a $100 bill with mismatched serial numbers that sold for... I think roughly 20 or 30 times the face value. So you can definitely get some good money out of your money. This one doesn't seem to be collectible. There's nothing really fancy about the serial number as far as a repeating pattern. Um, you can't read it upside down, right side up. It's not a radar bill where it's basically the same thing in the front and backwards in the back. Uh, so that's nothing really crazy here. Everything seems to be printed accordingly. Um, I don't see any heavy inking or anything that's, that's off on the bill. So we'll go through on to the next one. One thing that's cool about some stuff too is I like to collect uh, date bills, but I only really collect and hold on to the ones that are either a birthday note. So for instance, I was born in 1989, uh, May 3rd. So 05, 03, 1989, if I have two bills with that number on it, uh, one's a five, one's a 10. I hold on to those just because they're cool in my birthday. And also, those are slightly sellable at a higher premium to people on eBay or Amazon, so on and so forth, uh, if they're searching for just a cool build to frame for a loved one. This one has been through a washer, as we can tell from the crazy amounts of creases and folds, and uh, it's pretty beat up for a 2013 series bill, and we don't see anything really majorly collectible with it. Same thing here, this is also, and these are circulated, so keep that in mind. This is this is one that's been folded and probably shoved in a pocket a hundred times since 2006. Here down at the bottom where the series is annotated on the $20 bill. Older 20s have the series uh, depicted in a different area, but I'll point that out if we come across one. Serial number 1365 2727. I wish it was some repetition with just 27s in it. It'd be very collectible then, but in this case it is not. I don't see anything crazy on the reverse either. It looks like it was ran through either in a really sweaty palm or ran through a washer. Next bill, 8357, 2014. Nothing really crazy. Of course, if we had a date note like 0101, 2014, then that would have been cool because that would have been the first day of 2014. Uh, but nevertheless, it's you know not as collectible seeing as how it doesn't have a, a fancy serial number. I don't see anything off printed. All this, the both seals here United States uh, Federal Reserve System seal and the Department of the Treasury seal are both correctly uh, depicted on the bill. A little bit different than a $1 bill. $1 bills, the seal is more imposed on top of the word one, whereas on fives, twenties, tens, and I believe fifties as well, it's actually kind of interlaced with it. So it's more of an anti-counterfeiting uh, measure or security measure. And we'll talk about the security measures of $20 bills 
in another video along with other denomination security features. On the back of the bill, don't see anything crazy, nothing's off printed, it's been folded a couple times. Ooh, a star note. So as we know, star notes are annotated with a star. That's to show that they replaced the original bill uh, after producing that bill due to an error with it. It was either misprinted, uh, something was off cut, it was a skew on the sheet, whatever it was. So they replace the bill and they take off the, the uh, following or the ending letter uh, and replace it with a star. Uh, this just shows that it's a replacement bill. So it's a little bit collectible. It is, I guess, a date bill in the sense that 2489 will happen. Uh, but that's not for hundreds of years, so it's not really considered a collectible date. Let's flip these bad boys around. I'm going to go through these a little bit quicker so I'm not boring the heck out of you. But uh, serial number 2435-4819, they do match up. I don't see anything super crazy. We do have a little ink smear right up here at the top. That seems like it is in the bill, so I'll look at that under a loop, see if I can find something a little bit more collectible uh, about that, if it's something that happened during production as opposed to post-production. So we'll set that aside as well. This one, Torn, we know from a lot of your comments out there, we know that condition uh, really plays a part in really anything collectible, uh, but this is going to detract if it was collectible. Doesn't seem like it is. There's nothing really... Uh, off about this bill as far as any printing uh, concerns. It is cut correctly, so we'll move on. This one, it's not a fold over, unfortunately. It is a corner, it's just literally folded. But we do see right here, we see some light ink smearing on the, on the zero, so that's definitely cool. Uh, that's a little bit collectible, but I wouldn't say it adds to the face value of this 20, making it worth more than $20, because it's not profound enough to really just be, you know, look. the untrained eye is not going to look at it and be like, ooh, that bill screwed up. So, not collectible. What is this? Jasper, Georgia. So if you are located in Jasper, Georgia, I do want proof. But you can send me a message on Facebook, show that you're in Jasper, Georgia, and I'm going to send you a bill, this $20 bill, that apparently is from Jasper, Georgia. It's probably a bank bank stamp. I'd highly doubt that somebody just has a Jasper, Georgia stamp at their house, but who knows? I mean, you can see on the back, there probably was a strap on it at one point. Maybe this one was sitting on top. They went to stamp it and kind of missed the stamp because they have no hand-eye coordination and uh, stamped on the bill itself. Uh, so we'll set that one aside, the Jasper, Georgia $20 bill, because I just think that's kind of cool. 6245-9836, and they both match up. These little security features here I'm going to talk about in that other video on $20 bill. Security features uh, to stop counterfeiting and stuff like that. Um, this one doesn't seem to have anything overtly crazy with it. Let's see if there's anything on the back. It looks like it's been folded quite a few times, so we'll pass on. No crazy uh, bill so far other than that star note and a couple other minor uh, ones we'll go back and look at, but still pretty cool. 0274-0138. I don't see anything crazy on this bill. If you notice all these little threads that are intermingled with the actual material that makes the bill, we'll talk about those in the security feature too. Uh, those are those are important as well and just kind of a fun fact, so we'll talk about those as well. Don't see anything... Oh, that's close, but we'll go back to that bill. Not a date bill, both match up. No misprints, it is not miscut. Um, the White House on the back is, is a nice depiction. It's been on the $20 bill for quite some time, and they've enhanced it on the newer bills to look a little bit more regal and a little bit more high definition. Uh, if there was a May 35th, 1728, that would have been a cool bill for a date bill, but there is not. Looks like somebody got to 44, 49, $20 bills and wrote on them with a pencil. People tend to do that a lot. I don't, I don't like that, but hey, you know, whatever. See what else we got? This is actually, uh, looks like it's ran through a washer. You can tell from the depreciation of the color on the bill up here, as well as it's been folded quite a few times. <clears throat> and serial numbers seem to match up, or they do match up. Series 2009 is shown down here, and the seals are printed appropriately on the front. Nothing on the back. See if there's anything else uh, that we come across. Another person was writing on bills. This is not matched up. 
or I mean it is matched up and there's nothing crazy as far as patterns are concerned so we'll move right along with that one as well I'm gonna spill my coffee on everything 1971 2643 there's a little ink smear above it but that looks like it was probably from an ink pen or something to that you know matter so we'll kind of move on from that and everything seems good Let's move on again man this bill let's skip right to this one so you can see a lot of things with this bill. There's just as a good example. It's torn. Um, it is washed through. There's looks like highlighter or red sharpie, black sharpie, green sharpie. So somebody was probably you know maybe their kids were drawing on it or drawing around it or whatever. Who knows? People do crazy stuff with their money, um, and it gets put in a lot of places that uh, cause damage to it. So we'll just kind of move on. Another bill that doesn't seem to have anything that's jumping out at me as far as super adding to the collectability of the bill. Here's a very, uh, ooh, this is kind of a good one. This is a very heavy inked serial number. So if you kind of look between the two, they're slightly different. This one's a little bit thinner than this one. Uh, but unless it's super profound where you can see it through the back of the bill, it's not really collectible in my opinion. Also, this one's folded and uh, torn as well. So these were definitely some super circulated bills. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're looking at condition of the bills in relation to having a premium over their face value. Like I said, if you live in Jasper, Georgia, I'm from Georgia, I'm from Columbus, Georgia, I will send you this $20 bill, uh, you Jasper Tony and you, and I will send you this just for the fun fact that it's from Jasper, Georgia. And then you can go spend it in Jasper, Georgia. Holy crap, that's like an inception of $20 bills. Another one that we're going to look at is this one. I'm going to look at this ink smear up in the corner here, uh, see if it's something that happened during production or if it's just on the bill and somebody had something on their grubby hand. And our good old-fashioned star note. Not super collectible with the serial number, but I love star notes, so I'll probably hold on to it for now um, until I just get really pressed for 20 bucks, And then, you know, I'll go buy my milk and bread and eggs with it, um, and uh, Jackson can help me out. Watch my other video on changes to the, actually the $20 bill, where they might be taking Jackson off of it and replacing him with a historical woman figure. I think that's wonderful, um, and there's a lot of uh, people for it and against it. So watch that video. I'll put a link in the description box. Thank you once again for uh, checking me out and checking out bills with me on uh, the old internet, and stay tuned for the next video on bill searching and collecting banknotes. See you later.